In this video, we're going to look at three moderately priced train sets you can pick up this holiday season. One in HO scale, one in N scale, and one in O scale. Okay, so let's unbox the Lionel Chief set here. So you can see here, here is remote control, the Lionel Chief remote control, and the RS3 engine here. Underneath this panel here, we have, looks like probably our AC adapter. So we got, we got the AC adapter. Uh, we have our caboose. This plastic lifts off here, and then you can use these uh, straps here to help pull out the uh, actual locomotive. And this set here, the, uh, the locomotive is basically uh, geared more towards the durable toy side of things rather than being a prototypical scale locomotive. Uh, and so uh, it is it does, does feature more robust uh, you know, handrails, that kind of thing. Uh, all the details are mostly molded on um, instead of being separate. Lionel has some much higher end locomotives that are gonna cost uh, several hundred dollars, over a thousand dollars in some cases. Uh, for, uh, you know, if you want to go with the more prototypical detail type of locomotive. But these are really geared to be more used by, by children that are more durable. They're not going to break as easily. Um, also, it only does feature one, uh, one motor on the, uh, on the front truck here. And uh, uh, it's just, uh, you know, it has a simple gear set here. It's not the larger, uh, larger motor that you'll sometimes see with the higher quality line L sets. And a lot of times the, uh, the large or the more expensive line of locomotives will actually include uh, a motor on both the front and the trailing truck. And so that does give you more pulling power. Obviously for this kind of set, you're only pulling a few cars and this could easily probably, I'm sure, pull a couple dozen cars anyway, but, but uh, obviously, um, you know, the, the uh, higher end ones are going to have more pulling power. Um, but again, for a $200 set, it is a decent locomotive. And uh, again, it's, re it's really built fairly robustly, so it's gonna work pretty well with kids. It's not gonna be breaking as easily as their higher, uh, more expensive locomotives. Uh, it is a plastic shell. Again, some of them will have, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the more metal to it than this one does, but it is built pretty solidly. Again, um, it's gonna help hold up pretty well to, uh, to young hands handling this, and it's not going to break too easily, I don't think. Um, so we'll put that aside. Cut the tape here on this. Okay, here is our handheld remote. It is gonna use batteries. You're gonna basically use this to control your forward and your reverse speed, as well as doing some of your functions like your horns. And then we have, have the caboose. Again, this is uh, um, you know, all plastic. There is not really any metal here besides, besides the wheels. And uh, again, the details are for the most part uh, a little bit larger, a little bit more robust. So it's gonna do well with kids, um, but it's not gonna be the higher detailed uh, type of caboose that you would see with their higher end sets. It's overall a nice basic caboose uh, and again more on the toy quality side than the detail quality side. But overall it should hold up pretty nicely. It is fairly very strongly built. Uh, you can squeeze it. It's not going to really give much and so this is the kind of uh, caboose that could be tossed around a little bit on the floor and it's probably not going to really break at all. You can see here on the back uh, it uh, gives you some ideas of additional track you could buy to expand your layout. Um, this is the type of track that you get with it. And then some sample accessories. But I'm gonna try to get the styrofoam out of the box. Okay, so there's a large cardboard box in here. Um, we also have on the backside some more styrofoam. This is probably the extra uh, piece of rolling stock, I'm guessing. So, yep, that's the only thing in here. We do have our box car. And just like the caboose, again, it's all plastic construction. The doors do slide open. So that's kind of a nice feature there. Again, all the details are molded on. The grab irons are not separate, separate applied uh, grab irons. The, walk, the walkway on top of the car is again, molded on as well. So not separately applied. So again, all the details are molded on for the most part. And so that does make it more robust. It's less realistic. Uh, so it's not going to be passing the, uh, so it's not gonna be as realistic as a lot of their higher end quality cars. But again, uh, this is really geared to be more on the durable side of things. So this box here is likely going to contain all of the track that comes with the set. And we'll look at putting this together later, but 
but uh, here you can see you get four sections of straight track. And so you can make a, a simple oval or you could basically make it kind of more of an uh, octagonal type shape. And kind of more of a, a large circle, which would be ideal for putting underneath a Christmas tree. And then you do have uh, probably eight sections. You have eight sections of curved track uh, that again will, that can be used to make that loop. So they do slide together, they stay together pretty well. They're gonna do really well on carpet since it is a large, since the track itself is very large. They do have uh, the molded on tie detail as well as the uh, regular uh, Lionel sets do, for the most part, uh, require the third rail. So you are gonna have that. You can buy a track that does have it uh, blackened so it looks a little bit more realistic. Next up, we're going to take a look at the Bachman Blue Lightning HO scale set. The thing to keep in mind with this set is that it does not include a controller of any kind. So you must have a smartphone. It can be an old one that, you know, an old iPhone that uh, you're not using currently for actual calls or anything, but it does have to have Bluetooth and you have to download the easy app to your, to your phone and use that to control the train. You can also obviously use uh, an, iPod, an iPad of any kind as well. So we'll go ahead, open up this set. Comes in two main, comes in two main pieces here. We have the area here that the piece here that has just the locomotive and rolling stock. We'll open that up first. And so you do get uh, um, several pieces of rolling stock, kind of like the Lionel set we looked at. A lot of this is molded on detail, so it's not uh, very high end, but uh, it is for the most part a decent looking box car. You could obviously uh, improve this with uh, metal wheels at some point if you wanted to. Uh, these are, I think, the Henry couplers that are compatible with the uh, KD ones. The KD couplers work a little bit better than these I found, but uh, these do work pretty nicely by themselves as they are. Um, again, you get the, the gondola as well as as well as the caboose with this Santa Fe set. And you can see the uh, locomotive nice and nice and heavily weighted. So this will have a lot of a lot of pulling power as well. And then you get another box here that likely contains all of the track. Okay, so you do get an AC adapter with an on-off switch, which, which is nice. And then you get your selection of track. So here is the Bachman Easy Track. Um, you can find this in most hobby stores, including uh, places like Hobby Lobby. So you can expand your set pretty easily if you want to. Um, this track slides together like this. You just slide it. Uh, right into each other on the floor and it goes together very easy. You do have to be careful when you when you assemble it that you um, Take the track apart and you slide it together on the floor if possible if you do this kind of thing 
if you do this kind of thing where you try to do it in your hand and, and, and pull things apart vertically, you're going to damage these connector rail joiners very easily if you apply any vertical motion at all. So always uh, do them, put them together and, and slide them apart on, a, on an actual solid surface if possible. Um, with this road bed included, it will still work fairly well on carpeting as long as it's not like a, like a shag type carpet with a deep pile. Um, things that are uh, you know very densely piled, like a Berber carpet, obviously is going to be fine regardless. But but uh, something that is sort of a dense pile, it'll work reasonably well um, on that since it does have this larger plastic road bed. But uh, some carpets are not going to be very supportive, and you're going to have scenarios where the you know the track is, is kind of wobbly, and that may cause some derailments uh, you know in those kind of cases. So when you plug in the HO scale one and turn on the switch, it does start going, at least it did in my case. However, you can control it with the Bachman Easy app here. We'll see if we can get that in focus. So let's see here. So now it's set up to go forward. Your speed control will control the locomotive there. So as we go faster, the train will obviously respond there as well. You can change to reverse. And the nice thing is you get sounds that come from your phone, so they're gonna sound much better than they would if you had the built-in speakers within the locomotive. So you can turn your headlight on and off. It's hard to see that there. Your long and short horns, your bell. We can go full speed here and then stop it on a dime. So overall, it's a nice way to control your train. Lastly, we'll take a quick look at the Kato Amtrak Superliner and Scale set. Um, I have purchased this set before. I really like it. I think it's a great set if you are looking to get into N-Scale and you want to have a passenger train. Um, take a look at the back here. Uh, one thing Kato does have are a lot of sets of track you can buy that are actually a better value than buying the track pieces individually. And so they make expansion sets where you can add a passing siding and lengthen your oval, add a second oval so you have uh, you know, two parallel sets of track. You can add, add yards, add other pass, uh, you know, passing sidings, that kind of thing. Um, you can add uh, sections of track that are elevated. And so they make a lot of packages of track that are really nice. And the unit track is super durable and uh, it's really great for, for N-Scale and much better, I think, than the Bachman track that's available in N-Scale. So uh, if you're going to N-Scale, I would really recommend doing the Kato track. Obviously, you can eventually progress and just use Flex track and other types of higher uh, or more realistic N-Scale track. But uh, I still use the, the Kato track for a lot of my layouts that I build. Uh, it's very durable and reliable, and I do like it a lot for, for N-Scale. So we'll go ahead, open up this set here. Did it upside down here. But you can see here, uh, you do get a, a really nice uh, DC controller. Um, this is the power pack in here, and the wires are here to, uh, to connect those. Um, you also get a re-railer. This is basically what you put on the track, and you can slide your cars down to, to, uh, to get them on the tracks. Now, all Kato products, for the most part, are really high quality, uh, and they come with these nice jewel cases, so you can store them very safely but uh, all their uh, locomotives are really 
for the most part really high quality and they work really well and uh, you know so you're usually not gonna have any problems with reliability for these here you get your your three your three passenger cars again these are really nice passenger cars as well very uh, uh, very detailed and uh, very much to scale with everything and uh, again I've used these quite a few times and they work really well they're quite reliable and so they are a great passenger car and one nice thing about N-Scale is that you can have actual um, real you know fully two scale passenger cars and run them in a small area because it is a smaller scale if you try to do this in HO or O scale you're going to need a much larger uh, layout of track to actually run rolling stock that's fully to scale since these cars are very long in real life and so um, with the smaller you know, scale, you can run these in a small area uh, and have them look realistic at least, or at least relatively realistic, uh, going around reasonably tight curves. So again, you do get plenty of track with this, uh, with this N-Scale Kato set and uh, pretty much any of these sets, whether it's the N-Scale, HO, or O-Scale set, you're gonna have enough track to make a loop around a Christmas tree without any problem at all. Uh, now, one thing that's nice about these Kato box sets is I do give you a nice little drawer here. Uh, you can actually use this to store extra track, uh, extra rolling stock. You know, these dual cases here will fit uh, in here as well. So you can buy some additional rolling stock, buy some additional track, and then slide it in here and, and use that as a way to store, uh, you know, whatever you've purchased additionally for this set. Obviously, there's a limit to how much you can put in there, but it does allow you to sort of keep things nice and tidy when you're storing these things um, and, uh, you know, keep everything in the same original box. Now, just like the other, just like the other sets, uh, this track is best uh, uh, assembled by sliding it together on a flat surface like that. Um, you don't want to do it with your hands in the air because that, again, can damage the connectors. But these connectors uh, are quite durable, and to basically pull them apart, you just kind of angle them together and they pop out. But unlike the Bachmann set, which basically has the rail joiners by themselves, the rail joiners are integrated into these uh, clip pieces here, which actually can be removed and replaced very easily. On the Bachmann track, it's very hard to replace the rail joiners if, if you damage them. Uh, and so this is much easier to do. Um, you can pop these out. They give you a little tool that actually lets you snap them off really easily and replace them. You can buy a bag of these, you know, that have like, um, you know, a couple dozen or whatever it is, uh, connectors in there very cheaply. Uh, so you can replace these if they do get, do get worn. But because the rail joiner is built into this plastic connector, it can't really expand very much. Uh, and it pretty much holds its shape pretty well. Nonetheless, if you do try to, to uh, assemble the track like this and bend it up and down to remove it, you are going to eventually damage it. So again, put it on a flat surface to take it apart and put it together, and you will usually have everything uh, work really well for you. Okay, so you can see that all three of these uh, train sets are about the same size in terms of the set of track you get. Um, obviously, the uh, the end scale set is much smaller in size in terms of the passenger cars and locomotive, so that loop of track uh, is sort of larger relative to the size of the uh, actual rolling stock and locomotive relative to the uh, bigger sizes, but in terms of the actual physical area it's going to take up on the floor, all three are about the same size. Again, all three are, are going to work best on a harder floor or a uh, a uh, sort of dense piled carpet, a shag type carpet is going to be harder, especially for the smaller scales and the bigger scales. Uh, and then finally, really the mo most important thing to keep in mind is really who you're buying this for. 
You can see obviously the Lionel one there and the O scale is dramatically bigger, more robust. It's gonna be a lot easier for small hands to deal with in terms of getting everything on the track, in terms of being more uh, durable, uh, resisting damage more. The small end scale uh, set in the front obviously is not gonna be as good for small kids, uh, but once you get to about ages seven or eight and higher, it can be usable by those, by those children. Obviously the older they are, uh, the more likely they are to take care of it and be, uh, um, and be more careful since it is gonna be more delicate being smaller in size. The HO scale set is obviously a nice in-between balance and is the most popular scale overall, obviously. Uh, you can find the most uh, accessories, most structures, most rolling stock, most uh, track available at hobby shops relative to the other scales. So certainly uh, that's a good way to go um, if you're looking for something that's kind of like the in-between type of scale. Uh, again, all three though are very popular. All three though have uh, widely available accessories and you know additional rolling stock you can buy pretty readily online or in stores so all three are a good buy in that sense. It was about $140 for the HO scale set, about $170 for the N and $200 for the uh, O scale set when I bought them. The prices obviously changed considerably over time, sales, that kind of thing. Uh, the ones that I bought actually were not at MSRP, they were on sale. Uh, again, those sale prices will change with discounts, with the holidays and everything else. Uh, so you will find the prices vary uh, depending on where you look. But again, all of them are moderately priced, about $200 or less, and so are a general good buy uh, in terms of being not uh, too expensive. Uh, none, none of these approach the high-end equipment that you can buy for any of these scales. You can obviously spend several hundred dollars on just a locomotive very easily for any of these scales if you want something that's very detailed. But again, keep in mind though, the more expensive locomotives, while they do have better detail, they do look better, they may run better, they generally also have finer detail that's more breakable. And so if any of these are gonna be for children, which typically the train sets are, you wanna do keep in mind that you don't really wanna go too high-end with some of these because again, they are gonna be more breakable for kids and not probably the best uh, the best option but all three of these are fairly durable uh, uh, again and scales a little bit more delicate being small but there's no real detail that's going to break off easily on those and so they do uh, hold up pretty well uh, the main issue with the smaller end scale ones though is that it is harder to put the locomotive and the rolling stock on the track without using the re-railer because the track and the wheels are obviously a lot smaller the o scale one is the easiest because everything is a lot easy is a lot larger in size so it does work a lot better for small hands uh, and for children to get everything uh, working uh, the first time, but the track is fairly hard to put together. Uh, it does take a fair amount of force, and so kids will actually probably have a hard time putting that track together, and they'll have probably the easiest time with the end scale track, uh, just because it goes together much uh, with much less force relative to the other uh, larger pieces of track, which require a little bit more force to put together. But obviously a parent can help with that very easily, and then once it's set up, the kids will have no problem running any of these sets. Again, all three of these are great for putting around the Christmas tree in terms of the size. They all have uh, you know, roughly four by four foot type of footprint if you make them into a, a squarish shape, which is great for underneath the Christmas tree. So all three will work well in that regard. So anyway, that's a look at three moderately priced trains that you can pick up this holiday season. And thanks for watching. Bye.